Hi everybody, this is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. Do I look rested? I had a good night's sleep. I uh, I fell asleep around 9.30. I woke up at 2.45 in the morning. I slept uh, over four hours I slept before I woke up and had to go to the bathroom. Went back to bed again, woke up again at about 6, 6.20, I think it was. So, yeah, I slept better. Just that little bit of uh, uplifting did it for me. And uh, I, at least I think that's what did it. Um, uh, I had the internet, so I did have the... Uh, the NPR on and I had noise going on, you know, so um, I don't know for sure. It could have been that I was so tired from the restless night before. Could have been a lot of things, but I'm going to keep at this with uh, the elevated uh, uh, bed and, and uh, see if that's what it is. I can't lay on my back still. It's not quite elevated enough for that. I think it'd have to be in a recliner or something to sleep on my back. But every other position was a lot more comfortable. So that's good. Somebody asked uh, how, how many cigarettes I normally smoke. And uh, originally I was smoking almost two packs a day. And then I got it down to a pack a day. Uh, once I started uh, traveling to get down, it was lower than a pack a day, usually about 15. There's 20 cigarettes in a pack. So, uh, I had it down to about 15, um, and right now it's down to about, uh, four or five. And, uh, when I wake up and have my coffee, I still have an urge for a cigarette. So I had a couple cigarettes this morning, but, uh, I, I'm not gonna, I, I just don't have that urge to light up as soon as I put one out anymore. And uh, every time I have a coughing fit, I remind myself why I don't want to have a cigarette. So that's a good thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm no promises, but uh, the way I feel right now, I think I'm going to be able to quit. So we'll see how that goes. That would save me a little bit of money. I mean, I've got it down with rolling my own to spending very little, but every little bit helps too. So, um... You know, we'll just see how it goes. Today, I uh, I uh, I need to go to the drugstore because that's where usually I can find rubbing alcohol. When I try to find it at Walmart, they're always out. But um, drugstores usually carry it. And what was the other thing? Oh, I give up on finding my toothbrush. I just can't find it. So I'm going to get another toothbrush. There's nothing wrong with having a spare. So when I find my one that I know is in here, I'll have a spare. That's okay. And uh, let's see, a toothbrush, and that's about all I'm, oh, I'm going to get ice. I need to get ice. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Um, uh, a friend of mine sent me a message, said that she sent me several packages that are supposed to get here by Friday, or get to Quartzsite by Friday. So when I call and they say that they're, it's definitely there, I'm going to go back to Quartzsite and pick up my packages. And uh, I may come back here. <laughs> I don't know. Just depends. Uh, you know, evidently it's going to be that cold all winter there. And 10 degrees makes a difference, I'm telling you. Um, I wake up and I still have to put my little blanket around me, but it's not, it's not as bad. It's not quite as bad. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to end up. But uh, for now, I'm in Yuba. And uh, it's a big city. I got some exploring to do. So, we'll see how it goes. Today is Wednesday. So, I'm going to be here for the next three days for sure. Thursday, Friday. Well, two days. If they say it's in there Friday, I'll probably go back there Saturday to pick it up. Um, but she sent me, I think she said she sent me three things three boxes and they charge five dollars for a box and three dollars for an envelope so I guess I'm gonna own fifteen dollars 
when I get there. I've got to find a better place to get mail at, for sure. So, that's it for today, I think, is all I'm going to do. But we'll see. See what I can find for you. The night. I'm by a lake. And there's tons of people. It took me forever to find a spot. But I think this spot will work. See all the vehicles everywhere? Um, okay. I must be near a nest. Because they're not happy, whoever it is that's yelling at me. Huh. Isn't it pretty, though? Yeah, there's ducks and stuff in the water. Can't see them from here, but I saw them in other spots. And I can hear them. Oh, -ho. alrighty. Definitely want to get a rock from here. I have no idea how the reception is here. There's one duck swimming around. I saw a whole bunch from another angle. Gosh, I just hope they make noise all night since I can't get reception. That'd be nice. Isn't this beautiful? And these guys are everywhere. There's just a few spots where you can see the lake. That's why I wanted to park here. So I can see the lake. Yeah. Well, as you can see from the video, I picked another really nice spot. No reception. <laughs> and I plan on staying here at least a couple of days. That's uh, beautiful here, but getting here was a bit of a pain. It was only three miles, seemed like a lot further, but three miles off the main road, uh, it was a drop-off on both sides. Um, and I mean a drop-off. Uh, it wasn't like 100 feet. But it was uh, far enough to where my van would have gone over a couple times. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to take that road very often. And I'm pretty much set here, so you guys aren't going to hear from me for a couple of days, and I apologize for that. I don't know what else to do. I have no phone. I can't call anyone. I already tried that. <laughs> I can get texts, which is really aggravating because... I can't answer them. <laughs> Why does it let me see people texting me when I can't answer it? I don't get that. But that's what we have going here. So I'll do videos, and uh, in a couple of days I'll go in and, and post them. But this is a 14-day site. I'd really like to stay here. I wish I had better reception. I guess I need a better phone set up. I guess. I don't know. But... Uh, for now, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't do anything about it. It's about uh, probably quarter to three. And uh, so I got here a little early. It's sunny out. It's quite breezy, but it's sunny out. And uh, I suppose I could um, sit outside. I probably will again because it's a little bit too warm in here still. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's beautiful out by the lake. It's really nice. Uh, the place is called, um, I'm so bad, Fortuna Lake. Uh, BLM lady said it was Fortuna Pond, but, uh, I suppose it looks like a pond more, but, uh, on GPS it says Fortuna Lake, and <clears throat> it's about... I think it's about 12 miles from town, so just far enough out to be out of, out of range.
at least for my T-Mobile, it's out of range. Okay, <laughs> hello. Well, the good news is I think I have a uh, connection sometimes. It still won't let me call out, uh, but it let me uh, pull up a YouTube video. And uh, it let me uh, pull up a, a website for the weather. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to upload this. If you don't see it for a few days, that means it didn't work. <laughs> But uh, I think it might work. It might take five hours, ten hours, I don't know. But uh, it's worth a try. Just to let you know where I am. And, uh, yeah, I met a, a, one man was walking his dog. His name's Butch. His dog's name was Baby. <laughs> um, I was sitting outside. And it's, it's a cool breeze, but it's nice. And tonight, it's not supposed to get below 51. So it's going to be a very comfortable night. I like that. <clears throat> okay. I hope this uploads. I love you all. I love you, Patty, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of birds around here, so hopefully I'll get some shots. I saw a a roadrunner, and uh, they have black ducks with white bills. And this guy, Butch, told me what it's called, and I can't remember now. It was a weird name. I'd never seen those kind of ducks before. And I saw a little bitty bird. So there's lots of birds around. <laughs> okay, stay happy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Continue to follow your bliss.